Dr. Arun Sanyal is the leading clinical trial doctor at Remdesivir for Remdesivir at the Virginia Commonwealth University, and he joins us now live. Um, doctor, it's really great to have you with us. You and your team at VCU Health have been conducting these trials. Can you start by telling us a little bit about them and what you've learned so far? Well, as you know, Remdesivir uh, is an antiviral agent that's uh, um, produced by Gilead Sciences. Uh, this is a trial that was done in patients with severe COVID-19 disease. Uh, severe because they not only had the pneumonia, but they were requiring oxygen to maintain normal blood oxygen levels. Uh, in this study, uh, patients who received the drug uh, got better faster, got out of the hospital faster, and... Uh, very impressively, the mortality rate was actually only in the 8 to 10 percent range. Uh, importantly, uh, this trial tested two different regimens, one a five-day regimen and another a 10-day regimen, and the outcomes for both seem fairly similar. So both the five-day and the 10-day regimen seem to be effective, which is very, very good news, I think. It also uh, the time to discharge uh, was actually very encouraging as well. Uh, half the patients were able to leave the hospital within 10 days. The last thing that we found from this is that the earlier you got in with the antiviral therapy, the better the patient did. Patients who received the drug within 10 days of onset of symptoms uh, had a faster recovery than those uh, who came in later in the course of the disease. As you're aware, it hasn't been approved by the FDA to treat the coronavirus. President Trump just said that he wants to use an emergency authorization to fast track this drug. Um, do you think that it needs to be fast tracked at this point? And how big of a game changer would the availability of remdesivir to coronavirus patients be in the fight against the outbreak here in the U.S.? Well, it's definitely a big deal because this is uh, evidence that you have a drug that actually does have antiviral effects. It's a drug that gets people out of the hospital faster. And uh, you may have seen some early data today from the NIH where they did a placebo control trial where it seemed that there was also a mortality benefit. So together, uh, the totality of the data look very, very encouraging. And, you know, as a physician, uh, what is particularly pleasing to me is that we are not only helping the patients who receive the drug, but we've generated the evidence and the evidence base that we can now go out to all patients everywhere in the world and say, hey, we have a drug that this is what it does and this is how well it works. Now, is it a drug that's a panacea? It's going to magically cure COVID-19 in everybody? I don't think so. But this is a very important step in that process. So it's part of a process, but we are generating high quality scientific evidence for the use of these drugs as we are learning how to use them for this really interesting disease, which is uh, very different than the influenza and the other type of diseases that we've seen in the past, because the overall uh, clinical profile has some similarities, but many things that are very uniquely different about this disease. Dr. Samuel, I'm just wondering, it, it does sound like there's a lot of evidence there that this is, a, this is going to be a very successful drug. But given that this is a global pandemic, what's the availability of remdesivir if the whole world realizes that this is an effective tool to treat coronavirus patients? How widely available would it be? If I came down with the coronavirus next week, would I be able to go into a hospital, get a test, and start a treatment on it? Well, first of all, the drug has to be approved before it makes its way to the local CVS pharmacy. Uh, but having said that, I, I am pretty sure that both Gilead and the federal government is going to do everything possible to make sure 
that once the totality of the evidence is weighed by the FDA, and if it meets the approval standards, that uh, they will ramp up production to meet the needs. I also want to caution you that I don't think this is going to solve the problem of COVID-19 by itself. Uh, we need specific therapeutics at different points in the course of the illness. For example, if a person is exposed and just has the very early phases of the illness, like a little sore throat, there may, we need specific therapeutics for that population and the evidence to show that it prevents people developing pneumonia. For those who get pneumonia and not very sick, a drug like remdesivir would be fantastic. Uh, or even if they have significant pneumonia, remdesivir is very useful. For those who are moving into a more advanced phase, something we call a cytokine storm, there may be uh, specific monoclonal antibodies to various cytokines, which are these chemicals that cause your body to get inflamed. Uh, that may be useful. So what we're trying to do is put dams along this river, this COVID-19 river, at different points in the course of the illness. And hopefully, once we have enough of these in place, we will be able to take care of the patients sick enough to end up in the hospital or who get infected at any point in the course of their illness. What is eventually going to be needed is that magic vaccine to get uh, everybody back to work and to bring some level of normalcy back to society globally. Well, that's a really great analogy, Dr. Arun Sanyal, and we really appreciate uh, you and your team at Virginia Commonwealth University for uh, getting us some sandbags in this pandemic. Thanks for being with us.